Hi, my name is Steven and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking to you about knowing your passions early, how it gives you the advantage in life. We all know how important passion can be in our lives and that we must pursue it. But has anybody told you about when is the optimal time to discover your passion? For me, early and often is the best time to find out your true passions in life. Although it's true not everybody finds their passion early on in life, those who are able to find it have extreme advantages. Knowing your passions early in life can help you focus on it and also weed out distractions. And that can put you in a better position than others. And this advantage carries with you even if you want to change your passions later in life. Because you're going to have the resources and skills to leapfrog to whatever other passions you want to pursue. For me, I was fortunate enough to know what my passions were early on in life. And even now, it helps me to pursue other passions that I might have. Because it gave me the foundation and base to build upon my other passions. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about why it gives you the advantage, my tips and suggestions on finding your passions, and my general thoughts. And before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, hit that notification bell if you like this content. And here we go. So let's first talk about how knowing your passions early can give you the advantage in life. Number one, it saves you time on trial and error. When you know what you want to do in life, you can save a bunch of time by only focusing on those goals. I know many people who've done different things throughout their lives, not settling on one particular passion, and so they spent a lot of time starting from zero. It's hard to build up skills and experiences when you have to start from zero all the time. But not only do you start from zero, but you also lose the time that you would invest it in gaining experience at that one passion. When I was a kid watching Star Trek, I knew very early on that I wanted to be an engineer. So throughout my middle school and high school years, I focused only on STEM fields and those things related to engineering. Being laser focused helped me to focus in and eliminate distractions that would otherwise pull me towards something else. And it saved me many years in my adulthood by not having to go back and forth and figuring out what I really wanted to do. So discovering your passions early on in life can save you a lot of time and effort in life. Number two, longer time building experience. The best people I know in every field spent a lot of time honing in on their crafts. And the earlier you start, the more time you have in that particular field compared to other people who started later. When I was starting my engineering classes, I was only 18 years old. There were people in my class that were in their mid to late 20s. From a practical perspective, I was in a better position by being able to graduate early in life and also extending my career. This meant that over the lifetime of my career, I'd be able to learn and earn more. Finding your passions earlier can help you spend more time doing the things that you love and also help gain you an advantage in experience. And number three, it gives you a base to grow. I'm well aware that people's passions can change over their lifetime. It doesn't always stay consistent. And then sometimes a single passion cannot sustain you over your entire life. You need to seek out something else. But with finding passions earlier in life, it gives you the base and stability to branch out and do other passions. This can be in many ways, either financially, skill-wise, or experience-based. When you pursue your passions early on in life, you gain a lot of different advantages that you wouldn't otherwise get in an unpassionate project. So say for example, you found your passion in coding at the age of 16, and you had a career all the way up until the age of 40. Once you got to that age, you might have done a life assessment and realized that coding was no longer fun or passionate for you. Well, in this case, whatever passion you decide to pursue after coding will be much more advantaged than someone starting out from brand new. Because from the 40 year old's perspective, you have an excellent financial base to jumpstart to your other passions. Jumping to another passion, you're advantaged in two ways, both financially and from a work ethic perspective. So you're able to pivot to a new passion because you have the skills and experience readily available relative to someone that's just starting out. Ultimately, the same work ethic that you apply to your first passion can be readily applied to other passions. And those skills can be transferred. You never really lose them. So even if your passions change, you have the skills and expertise to readily be able to jump to a new passion. So here are my tips on how to find your own passion. Number one, be open to everything. If I learned anything in life, it's to be open to new experiences as much as you can. It's the only way I've been able to stave off boredom and also find new passions in life. More than half the things that I'm doing today was inconceivable to my high school self. Being a YouTuber, owning tiny houses, and performing improv just wasn't on my mind. Because in high school, I just didn't know that I would have a passion for them later in life. I had to be open to new things along the way and then also reflect on whether or not I want to actually pursue that. As a teen or young adult, it's just impossible for you to find all the things that you would possibly be passionate about. You have to slowly discover them along the journey of life. And sometimes it might take you a really long time to discover your true passion, but you have to stay patient and also be open to new experiences. So always keep an eye out and open to new possibilities because it might be your unfound passion. 
Number two, know thyself. It's so much easier to know and find your passion if you know who you are and what you stand for. As someone who didn't know who they were until my mid-20s, I was behind the curve when it came to finding my passions. And it took me a while, once I understood myself, to actually go out and find those passions. So knowing who you are and what kind of things you like really gives you the advantage when it comes to finding out what your passions are in life. So for example, if you know you're introverted or extroverted, you'll be able to tailor your passions towards your personality traits. Or for another example, say you love the outdoors and can't stand being indoors, then all of your passions would have to be directed outdoors. Because the key of this is to really understand yourself as much as you can before you start finding your passions because it could save you a lot of time in the long run. Check out my previous video on knowing yourself, how to find out who you really are if you want to know more about finding your true self. So find out what kind of person you are and match your passions to that personality. And number three, make room for it. If you do find your passions, what do you do with that information? Do you take action right away or do you sit on it? In our busy lives, we have to dedicate some time to pursuing our passions or finding out our passions. We just have to give it priority or else we'll never be able to allocate time to it. This is a constant struggle in our busy lives, but I believe it's well worth it. If you're always busy or pursuing other activities, you just won't have the time to go out and pursue your passions. And you won't be able to build on that advantage that finding your passions early on would give you. My suggestion is to allocate 20 to 25% of your free time to finding and pursuing your passions. This amount of time gives you the possibility of finding your passions, but also giving you an appropriate amount of time to go ahead and do something towards it. And eventually, if it's really your passion, you'll end up spending more and more time naturally towards it. So if you haven't found your passions yet, dedicate some time each and every week in pursuit of that. So here are my general thoughts on finding your passions early. I talked about this earlier, but as we evolve our passions or even do a 180 on them, we never lose our progress in life. Because those skills that we've gained during our first passion project give us the basis to start our second one. You can transfer that same excitement, confidence, and planning to other passion projects as well. I don't start from zero each and every time. I gain more skills along the way as I evolve my passions. And I'm able to build upon my successes whenever I complete a passion goal of mine. And likewise, for those who've spent a long time trying to find their passions or still haven't found it yet, it can be quite demoralizing in the process. The longer and longer in life you're not able to find a passion, the harder and harder it's going to get. Because as we age, it's harder and harder to avoid comparisons between ourselves and other people in life. And the realization that we're losing the most precious thing that we have in life, which is time, can be very hard for some people to go through. Because at the end of the day, there just isn't more of it. This isn't to be negative or impart hopelessness, but to give people a sense of urgency. Because we only have so much time in life and I would rather do things in pursuit of my passions. And I would like everybody to be able to pursue their passions at least once in their life. So those are my thoughts and suggestions on how to find your passions early on in life. Finding your passions early on in life sets you up in a unique position to be able to accomplish your goals early. And you're able to do that because you're focused on the task and you avoid time wasters. This can put you in a serious advantage over other people who might not be as passionate as you are about it. And the greatest advantage that knowing your passions early on in life can give you is the ability to give you more time to hone in on your skills and expertise. And these life skills can be transferred to any other passions that you want to do later in life. Because you'll be ready for it with a strong foundational base from your first passion project. Because ultimately at the end of the day, knowing your passions early on in life can give you a sense of urgency, purpose, and make your life a little bit interesting along the way. So thank you for watching. Please leave me a comment down below on whether or not you found your passions early on in life and whether or not that gave you an advantage. And I'll see you next time.